I am sick. I am not feeling great, and I've spent most of the day sleeping. But, you know, stuff to do, things to do, and I have been reading lately this particular series of books called How to Train Your Dragon. Woohoo! There, I like that angle better. I have not read all of them yet, but I have read the first six, so today I'm going to give you a quick summary of all six and then talk a little bit about the series and what I like. In case you know absolutely nothing about How to Train Your Dragon, it's about this tribe of Vikings, the Hairy Hooligans, who live on the island of Burke, somewhere in the barbarian archipelago where Vikings live, I guess. It's not really historically accurate. There's actually a note in the beginning. Please note, any relationship to any historical fact whatsoever is entirely coincidental. So here we are, quick summaries of each and every book. Book one, How to Train Your Dragon. Hiccup finds the smallest, most pathetic dragon and has to save his tribe from the biggest, most fierce dragon. Book two, How to Be a Pirate. Hiccup is a total failure at sword fighting, only later, he's not. Also, you meet the charming character, Elvin, the poor but honest farmer. Book three, how to speak dragonese. Toothless is kidnapped, oh no! And then Hiccup is kidnapped. Beware the shark worms. Book four, how to cheat a dragon's curse. Hiccup's best friend, Fishlegs, has been poisoned by a venomous warpent and is dying. And the only cure is the vegetable which must not be named, the possibly mythical potato. Hiccup must find this to save his friend. Book five, how to twist a dragon's tail. Hiccup meets a real life hero. A lot of fire, fire everywhere. Lava surfing? That happens. Finally, we come to book six, A Hero's Guide to Deadly Dragons. Toothless has been a very dra bad dragon and has destroyed the one and only copy of How to Train Your Dragon, so Hiccup must go to the Meathead Public Library and defeat the Harry Scary Librarian in order to get another copy so Toothless will not be banished. There you have it. Six books, all of them incredibly hilarious, fun, and just great adventure stories all around. I saw the How to Train Your Dragon movie before I even knew there was a book and long before I read the books and I absolutely love the How to Train Your Dragon movie and its sequel. I'm hoping I will love the third movie coming out next year. But these books, man, they're so funny. Like, the movie's great. It's one of the best animated films ever, I think, but these books are a work of art all their own. Absolutely nothing like the movies. Like, the only thing they have in common is that the main character's name is Hiccup. His father's name is Stoic, and they live on the island of Burke. I guess there's a character named Fishlegs in the movie as well, but he's nothing like Fishlegs in the book. But the characters in these books are, are they're great, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. First, we've got Hiccup. He's the heir to the Hooligan tribe. He is small and has red hair that sticks up all the time and isn't particularly great at Viking things. However, he is the only person with a brain in many given situations. He can also speak Dragonese, which is the language of the dragons, which is pretty important, even though the, the rest of the Hooligan tribe thinks it's stupid. Hiccup's best friend is Fishlegs, who is even a worse Viking than Hiccup is. In fact, Hiccup's father, Stoic, thinks that Fishlegs is a bad influence on Hiccup. Has, has glasses and he has asthma and he has eczema and I think he's allergic to dragons too, which is not a great thing, especially if you're in a Viking tribe where everybody has a dragon. But Fishlegs is really sarcastic and funny and also smart like Hiccup, much more of a coward and always is like, let's run away instead of staying and figuring out how to save everyone. Third character would be uh, Kamikaze, the heir to the Bog Burglar tribe, who we meet in book three. She is a tiny blonde girl who would literally steal anything off you and you wouldn't know it's gone. She is, she's a thief and she's a really good one. She's also a very good sword fighter. She's also the first to suggest, you know, things are looking rough, let's go in fighting and go down like heroes. Fishlegs never agrees with that sentiment, but it, it's funny. Then we have Toothless who is a hilarious little dragon. He's a bit of a brat. The book describes him as, while the other dragons are like, you know, good Labrador retrievers, Toothless is more of a naughty dachshund. He is uh, small enough that he often sits on Hiccup's head or on his shoulder. He's very proud of himself, he thinks he's very handsome, he thinks he's much smarter than any of the humans, and he often does things that start Hiccup's adventures off rather poorly. But he also saves the day sometimes, so you know, what can you do? And he's hilarious and adorable and I love him so much. Also, when you're reading book two, you may want to take note of Alvin, the poor but honest farmer. He will become very important as books go along. These books have illustrations uh, done by the author, which are always quite hilarious. They also have uh, parts about the Dragonese language, which is funny as well. In the back of book six here, I was like, wow, this is a big book. And I was like this far in, and I was like, I'm getting to the end. What's, what's, what are we gonna do with these last 60 pages? But there's a guide to dragons, and there is a uh, Dragonese dictionary, which is super funny, followed by conversations with Toothless. So you too can learn how to speak Dragonese with Toothless, which I think is pretty brilliant. 
I want to speak Dragonese with Toothless. Speaking of speaking Dragonese, book three, How to Speak Dragonese, is my favorite book thus far because Toothless goes on strike and it's so, it's a great scene. Followed, followed shortly by book four where Toothless is wearing a furry sweater and the illustrations are just golden. I have six more books to go, which I will hopefully read in a fairly shortish manner. There's only 10 more days in June. This is day 20. This is the 20th video I've made, which is a little bit shocking. I hope my voice feels better tomorrow and that I sleep well tonight, even though I probably won't because I just took like a two and a half hour nap, which was really brilliant of me. I highly recommend these books and I will see you tomorrow.